Hi, this is Richard Price from Digital360, and this is a um, test to see whether you can have multiple file uploads um, through a standard CRM, Zoho CRM web form. So what we can do is we can go into setup and if we go to web forms under web integration, um, I'm going to just do it under leads here and actually I've created one already so let's just have a quick look at that. So I've got a uh, last name and an upload. Note that you can only drag them once into this um, uh, WYSIWYG interface. What you see is what you get interface. Okay, so then go next. You put all your information in um, about notifications, who is going to be notified and own the lead and what pages they are going to be saved. And then you can go save. And what will happen, I always tend to use the source rather than iframe because it gives me more flexibility. So I copy that and go done. I then go to my website and I would then go into a test page. Now I'm using WordPress here and I'm going to edit this page. So what I've done is I've pasted that code that I've just got from the CRM system. Okay, and you don't need a whole lot of experience with HTML code to be able to do this. You just come down and you can have a look and if you start reading you'll notice things like um, here it says um, test upload files, that's the heading. Um, then I read here last name, so that is the last name field. Now what you're looking for is this here. So the, um, the less than and greater than, and in between that is TR. What that stands for is table row. Um, and what that is, is if you look at the actual um, end result, if you look at it in terms of rows, this is one row, this is another row, this is another row, and so forth, and these are actually columns. Okay, so if you think about it that way, um, it does make it easier. So if we go into here and we have a look at that, and we are looking for upload file. So I can see that. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to simply copy that. Now you can tell that this is the start of a row and this is the end of a row. So I'm just going to copy that and I'm going to paste it. And there we go. It's doubled up. So you can see that there's one file there and there's another file there. If you need more um, uploads, you just simply copy that again and um, it will save that through. So then you go update and then you view the page and then if I go in here and go second test multi upload and I choose a file I then go in here and choose another file Okay, so there's two files, different files selected, and I go submit. Incoming email. So you can actually hear that my cell phone's actually told me that the email has come through. That's the email notification. So I go through to my CRM system, and I can go into leads, and there is the second test multi-upload. And if I scroll down, I can see that there's the two attachments. The two different attachments have come through.
if you need any help or you've got any questions, um, please let me know. Uh, Richard at digital360.co.nz. Thanks for watching and have a nice day.